It's time for news from around the world in Meanwhile In. Meanwhile in Austria, horrible, horrible news that just keeps on getting more and more horrible. A surgeon amputated the wrong leg on a patient, and that's not the worst part of this story. It was fined $3,000 for it, which seems low. Anyway, it was due to a disastrous combination of circumstances because of course it was, what else could it possibly be? The surgeon had marked up the right leg instead of the left before surgery, a mistake that was only discovered when the patient's dressings were changed. And of course the issue with that is, you still then have to amputate the other leg. But even that isn't the worst bit of news, the patient later died from unrelated causes. This is just terrible prep. Yeah. Unrelated causes, like <laughs> I don't even needless everything. amputation. It's just you couldn't. Anyways, uh, this doctor doesn't have a leg to stand on. The issue with it is they 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 keep referring to a dangerous combination of circumstances, and then they go they mark the wrong leg. I feel like <laughs> that's there's your combination. Your combination is one number to get into this safe. Yeah, you it just like mark the wrong. <laughs> And then we cut that's it off. No, that's just because well, of the one thing you did wrong. That's because of the one. It would be like if like the final death in a final destination was that someone shoots another person. Yeah, like like that's I not was, I was sold. waiting for the Rube Goldberg of Where's death. the dude? thing that swings and it's just terrible though. And the thing is this, this does happen. You gotta find a more. I know Europe is like really loosey goosey on a lot of different sp- stuff, but that is, that is a serious issue. You gotta be like, You know, measure twice, cut once for carpentry. Surgeons should do that at least 10 times, I feel like. That's not asking too much. But meanwhile, in. Yeah. Sorry, go. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, in thankfully lighter news, in Northern Denmark, an IKEA showroom turned into a big old bedroom because six customers and about two dozen employees ended up being stranded in the store by a snowstorm and spent the night in Ikea sleeping in the beds. Uh, The Washington Post has a shot from it and it looks exactly like you'd imagine. That dude is very comfortable on that Ikea bed. There's apparently a foot of snow. Neighboring toy store employees also came to the Ikea because of course, I mean, I guess you could sleep on massive teddy bears or something, but it's full of furniture. so. That seemed reasonable. They apparently spent the night watching television and eating because of course they also have delicious food, cinnamon buns and leftover hot dogs and stuff like that. Brett, I I wish this would happen to me, honestly. We have a moment for you saying delicious food like leftover hot dogs. Like I feel like they could cook up some freshies, bud. Sometimes I break into Ikea at night. like their food (laughs) and go through their trash. I love their food. Oh my God, I'd love it so much. Their cookies and everything. Yeah, the Uh, only thing they need to put it at the beginning. They used to have it in the middle. Like the Ikea I I go to doesn't have like that halfway there living on a prayer like. A cafe, yeah. Get recharged for the lower area where you have to pick up the Fjordenhofen and put it on your Fjordenhofen. Well, that's you've been going to, let's see, the Carson Ikea. I don't want to disclose whether it's Carson or West Covina, but yeah, it is well, by no means the Burbank one, on which Ikea. is Shangri freaking La. It's huge. Although the Carson one's pretty good too. Anyway, regardless, I can't imagine a better place. Like if the zombies come, how much competition is there going to be over getting into that IKEA? Honestly. <laughs> But anyway, uh, hopefully people weren't too put out. Seems like a fun little sleepover. Oh, I will say, I, I wouldn't want to talk to anyone though. I would find one of the little like faux bedrooms. I would bring a whole bunch of uh, Swedish meatballs in there, and then that'd be pretty much it. That seems weird. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, in <music> meanwhile in Argentina, the person who arguably should have been my garbage person this week. Killed almost 300 penguin chicks and destroyed more than 140 entire penguin nests with a bulldozer. A resident has been charged under animal cruelty laws for allegedly doing all of this at the Punta Tombo Nature Reserve, home to the world's largest colony of Magellanic penguins. No words on if it's still the largest colony, I hope so. It might have been caused by a possible land dispute. 
but it ended in all of this damage. Uh, the Ministry of Tourism has filed criminal charges after finding a wide path had been carved through the zone, both by the crushing and subsequent compaction of the ground, as well as the deposit of material extracted with the shovel. This person not only ran over these nests, but took a bunch of dirt and then crushed the nests underneath it. Just devastating, you'll see some photos. They also installed an electric fence without permission, which might have killed birds trying to escape. And you can see just absolutely devastating. I cannot imagine being that inhuman. On the upside, it was solar powered. It was solar powered, Brett. Which is really mean to do to penguins, which are typically an Antarctic phenomenon. But then again, it's really hot there. Um, I don't know how to respond to very obviously either. disgustingly yeah. terrible stories. And apparently that's how I do it. <laughs> it's by joking, I understand that. No, I discovered is, as much about myself as you did during this, but maybe you knew and I just didn't have the self awareness. Jesus. Anyway, absolutely devastating. Uh, I'm aggrieved by it, not as aggrieved as Marissa is by me taking so long to get through this story. But so, it was a bird story. That. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.